Greetings, friends. This is another briefing devoted to exposing the fakes and propaganda of the aggressor state. This weekend, Russia launched a missile attack on Kyiv, hitting a residential building and inflicting casualties. Once again, feeling unpunished for its crimes, Russia uses lies to deny its responsibility for civilian casualties. After a Russian missile hit a residential building, the propagandists of the aggressor state threw a fact that in fact it was, according to their lie, a Ukrainian missile which hit Ukrainian citizen and inflicted casualties. Of course, this is a fake, as well as other statements by Russian propagandists who have been repeatedly exposed in lies. Starting with the fact that they held Ukraine responsible for the crimes in Bucha, the bombing of the railway station in Kramatorsk, the bombing of the theater in Mariupol, and so on. This time Russia is trying to absolve itself of responsibility for its crimes that caused human casualties. On their propaganda resources they stated that, according to their fake version, the building was destroyed by a Ukrainian book missile. This is a lie. The house was destroyed by a Russian cruise missile, just like it was before. By the way, Russia said it was destroying a defense enterprise, explaining this attack. Just to remind you that two months ago, back on April 29th of this year, Russia had already stated that it had completely destroyed this enterprise. This was said at a briefing by Russian Defense Ministry spokesperson who said, I quote, the 65th day of the special operation in Ukraine. The Russian armed forces destroyed the Artem rocket and space industry enterprise in Kyiv. So, if they have already reported the destruction of the enterprise two months ago, why another missile strike? First, because they are lying, and second, to sow panic and despair among the citizens of Ukraine. Meanwhile, Russian propagandists are spreading their fakes in order to cause disappointment among the international community. For example, the well-known Russian propagandist Solovyo stated that the Ukrainian military was killing foreign instructors in Lysychan allegedly fearing that these foreign instructors would reveal secret data after being captured. At the same time, Solovyov does not refer to any at all, but simply says a source. Of course, this is a lie and the Ukrainian military does not kill any foreign instructors. Also, Russia used lies from its official government sources, claiming that several employees of the office of President Zelensky are in Lysychansk and that measures are allegedly being taken to detain them. This is a lie. In recent weeks, after the visit of the president of Ukraine to Lysychansk, no employees of the office were and are not there. The purpose of this propaganda is to once again sow lies and despair among Ukrainians. Another lie is the statement of the Russian Defense Ministry that 80 Polish mercenaries were allegedly killed. This statement was made by an official representative of the Russian Ministry of Defense, but it does not correspond to reality. Finally, about the propaganda tricks of the aggressor state, which are then broadcast by Russian state resources. We are talking about RIA Novosti. So, after the Russians destroy Ukrainian cities and kill Ukrainian citizens, they come with gifts to Ukrainians. And what do they give? According to RIA Novosti, DPR soldiers are given residents of liberated towns in Donbas the ribbons of St. George, a much-needed gift in a war conditions, especially after these cities have been destroyed to the ground. And traditionally, I urge you not to trust the resources of the aggressor state, trust the Ukrainian armed forces, the Ukrainian political leadership and the Ukrainian telethon. See you soon.